Hi, I'm Clint Suter, better known lately as Uncle Sam. Why? Because I want your used car. Our used car, truck, and SUV sales have been so good, now I need inventory. I want to recruit you to bring your used car, truck, or SUV to either Suter's dealership and we'll make you an offer. If you owe money on the vehicle you bring in, if we make a deal, we'll pay it off. No obligation and nothing to buy. And if you own the car, bring the title and go home with the check. It's that simple. Just call me Uncle Sam, bring in your used car, Suter's, up the hill in Barstow. Hi everybody, welcome to Main Street. I'm speaking to you today from the lot of the A1 Garage and Body Shop off of uh, Highway 91 and 58, and with me is Mr. Eddie Parker. Uh, we've received words of a word of a secret government project uh, going on in this neck of the woods, and we thought that uh, seeing how this is the location where there's been several before, we thought Eddie might know something about it. Eddie, what's the word on this? Well, as, as we described in the past, you know, every day there's... Uh, segments and segments of gun control and anti-lobbying and all of this and uh, that's that's all it's about is just gun control uh, so that's the secret project you think is gun control well uh, how are you gonna feel when they start taking your weapons away well you know they can take my shotgun where I hunt ducks they can take my uh, fishing pole they can take my uh, MTV they can take my uh, my deer hunting rifle even my handguns, but just please don't take my Buick. Now, as you can see, folks, uh, this Buick is not like uh, most Buicks that you find parked in your driveway. Uh, we're going to have to uh, ask Eddie exactly uh, what kind of a Buick uh, this is. Well, this is the freeway style Buick, uh, commonly known as in Los Angeles uh, because of the freeway shootings. Uh, it's a new model. And I hope to gain some of these uh, government contracts to replace the amphibious tank that they have. Now what you see above us is a uh, 104 howitzer and above that is a 35 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. It's a Turkish anti-aircraft gun. And it'll, it'll plank any car off of the highway, uh, let alone uh, F-4s, uh, F-16s, uh, Tomcats, uh, Piper Cubs, uh, Beechcraft Bonanzas, and whatever roams the skies. If it flies, it dies. Now, uh, Eddie, I, I don't think anybody would be honking their horn at you to have you move over if you're driving down the freeway with that, would they? No, they wouldn't have to honk the horn because, as you can see, the gun toured and the barrel goes all the way around, so I don't have to stop, turn around, or take a rest stop for a reloading zone or anything. I just can shoot and keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> this is a marvelous vehicle. Now, what... Uh, what kind of uh, work went it went into this uh, particular model here? Uh, I know this is not your this is not your stock Buick wagon. Well, it's been highly modified. It's got a 468 cubic inch big block Chevy with a two-speed power glide with a lockup converter, and it's a Dana 70 motorhome rear end with uh, 456 gears, and it's a motorhome straight axle, and uh, it's beefed up. It'll. It'll probably hit the high 130s at about 9,500 RPM before it starts throwing rods and some other stuff happening. What do you think, uh, what's the long-term plan for this particular vehicle? You don't see too many of these. Well, you don't. That's why I hope to gain a government contract to save the government uh, millions of dollars. You, you look at the tank that's like parked up on Barstow Road in uh, I-15. That tank probably costs the taxpayer one million dollars. I can build these for a million five and uh, they would save money because they wouldn't have to replace the tracks all the time. They can replace these rubber tires and it's a lot cheaper than replacing the tracks. Uh, you could probably pull into some place like Barstow Tire and Brake and uh, get yourself retreaded. Yeah, or just have them uh, just taking uh, fill the tires up full of rags or dirt or sawdust or whatever you can get inside in case it won't hold air. The other thing, these are probably a lot easier to get into than your average tank. Okay, Bill, what we have here is a uh, rear view mirror mounted gas mask. Uh, as before, you've seen uh, fuzzy dice hanging off of rear view mirrors and feathers and sunglasses and just about anything but uh, there's nothing that states you can't have a gas mask hanging off the mirror so you're trying to comply with the law oh yeah this definitely definitely that's the, the main issue here and uh, something else we have is a fully adjustable seat it'll go back and forth it'll pivot all the way around so you can get up into the gun turret and start sighting and aiming and plowing the, uh, the uh, rounds away and uh, something else we have is 
full functionable power steering, four wheel steering. You steer it this way, the front wheels go to the right and the back wheels go to the left. And you can make a complete turnaround within a 10 foot radius. And like I say before, it's an automatic transmission. Uh, it even complies with the laws. I wear all the seat belts and harnesses and everything else. Uh, never mind the inside, it's a little bit dirty. I've been pre-running and testing the car out at Fort Irwin and showing the boys out there what a, a real government vehicle should do. You have a nice headliner in there too. Well, it's uh, custom by rip. Uh, that way, <laughs> <laughs> that way, if you ever get hit by a bombshell or something, it won't catch on fire. Okay. Now, I noticed something that you've added on here, probably for better traction, is uh, you've turned this into a dually, so to speak. Well, the more tire patch surface on the ground that you have, the more traction you have. So, in case you're being shot at, if one tire gets shot, you still got another one that holds air that'll that'll get you through the demilitarized zone or whatever. Yeah. How about the back of this uh, particular vehicle? Is there anything uh, back there we should be uh, concerned with? Extra features? Uh, spare tire? Well, I've already had a flat, you see, already. Uh, that's where I hang a spare tire, and I'm going to hang gas cans and a couple other doodads and odds and ends on it and a gunner seat. And like I say, it's, it's still in the building pro process right now. Well, when do you think we can expect to see uh, models like this popping all up all over the place uh, if everything goes right for you with the government contract and everything? Well, I'd say the same time the new Cadillacs come out, and that's September 22nd. That's the big day. Uh-huh. The 1990, what do you call this now? This is the, uh, hmm, good question. <laughs> master of Disaster Blaster. The Master of Disaster Blaster, ladies and gentlemen. You uh, saw it first, and there's a round going off right there. I think it just went off. The Master of Disaster Blaster, you saw it first right here on Main Street.